Hi guys, Micro here. I wanted to make a higher level money making guide for you guys because I haven't made any methods to do with higher level money making. I wanted to make this video dedicated to one particular method that can make up to 7.5 mil GP an hour and is absolutely insane. It's a major money making method and it's one of the ones I've used multiple times in order to get quick easy cash when I needed it in a pinch. Transmuting Rune Ore. The requirements are 96 divination and a small amount of startup cash. If you want to stock up on all mats for around an hour, this will cost around 25 mil for everything. But obviously you could do it for half an hour, sell, rebuy, whatever you need to do. Each transmute gives 23.2 XP and can add up to 45 to 50,000 XP an hour for divination as well. So it's not even a slow way of training divination because divination is slow rates anyway. All you do is turn 6 Anamantite ores and 10 Incandescent Energy into 1 Runite ore. The only thing that can be a bit tricky here is the cap of 25,000 energy. That cap will only last you 1 hour so if you want to do it for 4 hours, I'd advise buying the energy and the ores overnight. That way you can easily stock up on enough for multiple hours if you want to do it for a good solid grind. So 6 Anamantai ore and 10 incandescent energy is around 8,500 to 8,800 GP for the lot of them. One Runite ore on the other hand is 11,500 to 11,600 GP each. This means the profit each is around 2,700 to 3,100 GP each and you can transmute 2,000 to 2,500 of these ores in an hour. This leads to between 6 mil and 7.5 mil GP an hour, maybe even a bit more than 7.5 mil if you're really, really good at this and you can do it very efficiently. Before we get started here, I just want to talk about the presets. So the preset I made was my divination one. And as you can see, I had the incandescent energy in the inventory and all the rest is adamantite ore. I used my divination outfit for the extra bonus XP as well as I was getting a bit of extra experience by just wearing the outfit while doing this so you might as well wear any pieces of the divination outfit you've got. Obviously it's not just this outfit, the diviner's outfit is the other one. But make sure that in your beast of burden it's full of adamantite ore as well. This means when we go on to the settings here we can tick the setting and then we can tick this little summoning icon. And that means that it remembers your Beast of Burden's inventory at the same time. So, when we load this up, it will load up all of this and our Beast of Burden inventory. And we need to do this for the method because pack yaks do speed it up and I'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to speed up an hour of me doing this with a stopwatch at the top corner. And I'm going to pause it at the parts I want to speak about just to make it easier for you guys and to see that I've done a full hour of this and what it actually looks like. As you can see on my action bar, on number one I have the energy and number two I have my left click option on my familiar. So obviously the energy when I click it opens up the menu and I can press space to then skip that menu and do the next part which is transmute the ore. Although if you hold down space while doing this, it speeds up the process quite a lot because as soon as you press one when holding down space it will trigger it automatically for you and then you just have to keep pressing one get into a rhythm of it then once you've done four you can press number two which gives you your beast of burden and then that way you can carry on pressing one with space held down and then you'll be able to fill your inventory up with nine runite ores by the end with your inventory and your beast of burden's inventory if you're using a pack yet even though banking doesn't take long, it takes longer than taking your Beast of Burden from your Pack Yak. So that's why a Pack Yak does speed up how many you can do per hour. During this hour, I kept trying different ways in order to do the Rune Ore to see which one is the most efficient. I tried just banking normally without a Familiar. I tried it with the Familiar one way, another way, all different ways on how many ores you do before you take from your Familiar, etc. So I tested all of these different things out during this hour and there was one thing that shone out more than any other to me and I would advise doing this method over any other method that I tried. It seemed to be the most effective and you could get around 9 ores done in about 10 seconds which means you could probably do around 50 per minute including banking times which will lead to around 3000 ores per hour which is around 9 mil per hour if you've done it this way all the way through. I'm pretty confident I could do 3000 ores in an hour this way although it may be slightly less or slightly more depending on how distracted you get and how many mistakes you make but around eight to nine mil could easily be achievable with this method but obviously because i was testing around it's not quite as many ores per hour for me 
So this is a one tick method of transmuting Runite Ore. This means we get Runite Ore twice as fast than if we left it manually. So we've put these on our bars for a reason. We press number one and we hold down our space bar to instantly do the first tick. So the first one you make whenever transmuting Runite Ore ticks instantly and you get the Runite Ore instantly. So to do it one tick, we just keep pressing one after it's done one of the Runite Ores while holding down our space bar. So we're doing one per time rather than the whole lot. This makes it so it's much faster and much quicker to do. Once we've done four Runite Ores, we can quickly press number two and number one directly after we've pressed number two to get from our Beast of Burden and then open up the inventory as soon as our Beast of the Burden is taken. This minimizes time it takes as well. Once that happens, we just do it again three times, then instantly press your two and your one right after the two. And then that will give you two more that you are able to make. And that will be your inventory of nine. This should take around 10 seconds to do once you get used to it. It takes a little while to get the hang of it and get in the swing. But once you get the hang of it, it can be really, really fast. So if it takes 10 seconds and then banking times, like I said, that's about 50 odds in an hour. Although we are human and we do make mistakes. So as you can see in this inventory, I make a mistake because I press number one for a fifth time and it accidentally brings up the inventory before I even bring anything from my pack yak. So because I missed time deal or miscounted, this means that I didn't have enough in my inventory to make a fifth one. Instead of closing this off and then bringing it back up and everything taken from your piece of burden, I found it easier just to click the bank, make a new whole lot and then start again, start afresh. It takes longer to close it off and restart this inventory than just opening up the bank and reloading your preset. So if you do make a mistake, simply just click on your bank, load your preset, keep going. You won't lose that much time. You'll be fine. So as long as you do these things, if you don't have a pack gank, you'll still make quite a few in an hour. A pack gank just speeds it up. But if you do this method here, then you're doing the most you can per hour, which will lead to around 3,000 per hour with a bit of room for mistakes as well. That's the hour done. I instantly stopped as soon as it hit the time. Now if we check how many runite ore I made in an hour, I managed to make 2,265 runite ore in an hour with testing loads of different methods. Some of the methods were 15 seconds per inventory, so those methods were really, really bad to do. Although the one I showed you guys is 10 seconds per inventory, which is absolutely insane. So like I said, you could get more than this, but personally, I got this while doing this for an hour. This means I made around 7 mil in this hour as I bought the Adamantite ore for 7 GP under mid and the incandescent energy for 8 GP over mid so I only paid 1 GP over mid and I sold my runite ore for 2 GP under mid which made me around 7 million GP in profit which is absolutely insane for one hour of work. Really really pleased with this money making method and I thought I'd share it with you guys. At the moment, it is a really, really strong money-making method. Of course, prices can change, but it's always been at least 5 mil per hour, no matter what. But at peak times, it can make up to 10 mil an hour, which is just silly. So hopefully you guys learn a new money-making method here. So if you have 96 divination, I would advise doing this. It's good XP. It's good money. You can't really go wrong. Thanks for watching guys, hope this money making method was fun for you guys to watch and learn about. I know I normally do multiple in one video but this one was a bit in depth and I wanted to go as much in depth and explain it as best as I could it just in one video rather than doing multiple in one video. I'm trying to think of money making methods that are outside the box that people don't know of in order to spark awareness of them and give people other alternative ways of making money than just PVM at higher level. Skilling can still be really really good money give it a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new again the french chat micro is always open and now goblin slayers my clan is open to anyone feel free to pop in the french chat or give me a message in game i'll gladly invite you guys to join in with the fun activities in goblin slayers just a nice friendly clan lots of you already here always nice chatting to every one of you comment down below what you would like to see in the future all those suggestions they're awesome keep them coming until next time See ya.